Hey guys, Thunder E here and I'm here at MWC 2024 and I got to see something really unique and cool that I think no one else has seen. Now at MWC there's been a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I saw Techno's uh, gaming uh, handheld with of course the AR headset that was super cool. A uh, bendable phone from Motorola. Um, I got to see also a flexible display screen from Samsung. I mean, really cool stuff out there. And also some really cool smartphones. But this one is a first. This is gaming, PC gaming, on the Snapdragon X Elite platform. We haven't seen this. And when I got the chance to check this out, of course, I had to jump in because I got to tell you guys what it is like. Now, let me just, just frame the scenario for you. Going into the back room, I was given a Snapdragon X Elite laptop um, and I was allowed to play three games. Now, off the bat, right now, it supports 250 games, PC games. And at launch, it will support 500 games. But right now, I was allowed to play Baldur's Gate 2, uh, Control, and Red Out 2. So still some really good, good games to check out to see if I can get up to even 30 frames a second because we don't know. But here's the thing, I decided, look, I'm just gonna just have the system unplugged and play just directly, no external power source. And off the bat, performance is really smooth across all three games. Now, I can go in and lament, but I want to show you and just look and experience the gameplay from all three games and then we'll talk. That was fun. That was really, really fun. The fact that I was getting above 30 frames per second, getting close to the 40s in, in a couple of the games, be it Red Out, Control, or even Baldur's Gate 2 was impressive. Now, gameplay in terms of settings, all at low settings for all of them. And this is to expect that when you're gaming on something like this, or even like my MacBook Air, or even um, something like, you know, the Intel Core Ultra, it's all low settings. So that's to be expected. That's not the issue. What I do like here is the fact that performance is really good. System wasn't plugged in, fan wasn't loud, and this is all on a reference device. So this is not even a final unit. So I can see that getting better and better. I did try some more games, which I can't talk about, but again, performance even on those games was really good. Another thing to note is that the Snapdragon X Elite also supports AMD's FSR1. So you can, of course, get that performance boost there in getting better quality and better performance all around. So honestly, this is really good. As a gamer, I am glad to see this. I can't wait to when this launches. I can't wait to see more games. I like can't just, I'm just excited for the competition. You know, to me, this is great. We've got, you know, uh, Qualcomm and Snapdragon coming in with the X Elite. Uh, we've got, you know, the Apple M chips. We've got AMD doing its thing. We've got Intel coming back in the fray with the Core Ultra chip. So this is an interesting time to be a PC Windows user and also a gamer as well. There's so many options for this and I'm excited to see this. Look, I'm gonna do a full review which with a ton of uh, Snapdragon X Elite laptops when they come out. So let me know what you guys want to see, what games you want me to play. I will start compiling the list. Let's just do that so we can get ready and see how well this will work for us. But the, but the interesting thing with Snapdragon X Elite is that this is probably one of the only platforms in terms of PC where 
You do have the uh, capability of adding, of course, 5G connectivity, because again, it's Qualcomm and Snapdragon, as well as also Wi-Fi 7. So you can game and play anywhere. That is very key with this. And that's something that I really want to test as I travel, you know, to different places. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts down below. Are you excited with what you saw? Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.